Another important section in this journey of knowing more about healing crystals is understanding its relevance to chakra points. While chakra points are a totally different field of spirituality, most healing crystal experts utilize chakra points as gateways which can further empower the potential of our healing crystals. By being sensitive of these points as we apply our healing crystals, we can achieve better results. As such, we will be explaining in this section how chakra points can be relevant in the application of healing crystals. Healing crystals and the seven chakra points in the previous sections, we've seen how we can utilize healing crystals. Integrating them in our lives can be done in a multitude of ways depending which way best suits us. But different kinds of methods also have varying degrees of effectiveness. Being able to integrate your crystal physically and aligning your intentions with it will of course lead to better results. Even further, utilizing chakra points can amplify the effects of your healing crystals. This is because of two things, first, the seven chakra points are gateways of energy. They are the pathways that allow energy in and out. Each chakra point has a specific function of its own, providing a unique value in application. Second, using it with chakra points requires meditation. Accessing your chakra points are far less effective when you are busy posting a selfie on social media. Rather, it requires your attention and focus, emptying your mind of any other concern that might hinder the whole process. Using this combo, we hope to harness the power of healing crystals in an effective way by relaxing our mind and placing it on vital points in our body. Thus, it is important to have a basic understanding of each chakra point so as to give ourselves an idea of where and when to place what. Root Chakra The first chakra point to be discussed in this series is the one that is grounded on the earth. Such is the case because of all the seven chakra points, the root chakra is located on the base of the spine, near the coccyx. Below the pubic bone, a small opening can be found. Facing downwards, this opening is the pathway of energies that we can receive from the Earth, allowing us to be grounded in the planet. As a chakra point, the root chakra is responsible for the grounding level of human existence, such as safety, survival, physicality, and basic needs, food, shelter. In the event that we encounter problems related to such, we should examine our root chakra because it might be the reason for it. By blocking energies that empower us in these aspects, we become less secure and certain about ourselves. For instance, a blocked root chakra can lead to moments in our life where we are unmotivated about life in general for no apparent reason. You might find yourself in this situation as you are pointlessly wasting time scrolling through irrelevant posts on Facebook even when you still have a lot to do. This nagging feeling may be caused by a blocked root chakra when we are unable to connect to cosmic energies which makes us filled in this aspect. As such, healing crystals can be used to remedy this problem. The color of the root chakra is usually red, symbolizing life energy. In general, red-colored healing crystals can provide a revitalizing feeling while black ones will keep the negativity out. Fire agate, for instance, can be used to revitalize lost vigor, making you feel more motivated to finish your daily tasks. It can also empower positive thinking, restoring that feeling of self-confidence and independence. In the same way, black tourmaline may also be used to aid this process even when it doesn't share the same color given that it can remove negativity which is a consequence of this block chakra point. As such, you can implement this method by placing a red healing crystal between your inner thighs while meditating, while thinking something significant in your life that can empower you like a loved one or a passion. Alternatively, you can also think of the feeling of warmth and fire on your core, lighting up your root chakra. This method will restore the lost flame in your chakra, allowing you to do better in life. Sacral chakra located between the spine and the navel, the sacral chakra is also commonly referred to as Swadashthana. This chakra point can be found just above the genitals yet 3 inches below the navel. 
As a chakra point, it is primarily responsible for the physical creative center involving the urinary tract, pelvic organ, bladder, hips, legs and feet. Furthermore, it is also the chakra point that energizes one's UA organs, making them potent for recreation and expression of one's humanity. For its color, the sacral chakra is represented by orange. It is strongly associated with psychological and behavioral patterns, which often leads to this chakra point as the root of emotions. Being the realm in which one's emotions dwell, the sacral chakra is home of feelings, relationships, UAL and sensual pleasure, creativity, and fantasy. Most of these items are experienced in the world through our five senses, serving as gateways in understanding and experiencing these feelings and emotions. As such, an imbalance in this chakra point can lead to problematic expressions of one's emotions. This is often represented by polarized actions, an excess that brings us away from the golden mean. For instance, an imbalance in the sacral chakra is possibly present when one is overly dependent on another person's attention, or if not, a substance. Equally problematic, the lack of empathy and emotions is also a representation of a blocked path in the sacral chakra. This can be addressed by way of chakra healing, but such as fortified with the use of healing stones. Particularly for the sacral chakra point, orange healing stones can affect if partners in the process. One of the most famous healing crystals, the carnelian, can be used in this case. The carnelian has properties that makes a person inspired, motivated, and confident. Furthermore, this stone can also help a person alleviate their own struggles of addiction like overusage of mobile phones. For short, the carnelian is able to restore balance in the sacral area, making one's emotions more stable, which ultimately leads to better emotional states. To perform a simple ritual addressing issues in your sacral chakra point, one can simply lie flat on a yoga mat. Take time, relax, be prepared physically and mentally. Slowly place an orange healing stone just above the pelvic bone. As you do so, visualize the color orange, while concentrating on the image of creativeness. This will restore your broken relations between the self and others by refocusing on how you can be creative with your emotions. Solar plexus Like all things in the world, the human body has a core from which almost all energy passes through. In this case, we have the third chakra point, Manipura, or commonly known as solar plexus. This chakra point represents one's innate willpower, or the ability to automate oneself. By this, what we mean is as individuals, we have the power to create our own laws, just as the Greek word autonomia means. But as we know it, even when we have this capacity for freedom and capability of reason, not all of us are able to automate ourselves. People generally fail to do this as they simply follow whatever the trend there is. Such lamenting scenario wherein man could have had greater control in their lives is often overlooked by the fact that we are unable to classify that it is a problem in itself. However, there will come a time where we feel that we have little to no grip in our lives, lacking in areas such as taking responsibility, standing up for one's opinion, or even clarity in one's perspective. These instances signal a problem in the solar plexus, which is most likely blocked, not allowing cosmic energies to support the whole process. In the same way, an overactive solar plexus chakra point may lead to unwanted anomalies, making people overassert themselves in certain situations. When you see your social circle slowly seeping away from you, this may be a sign of overexertion, as they don't want to be why governed themselves. To balance the solar plexus chakra point we can make use of healing crystals as one of our mediums. With yellow as their color theme, the solar plexus can be balanced by using citrine as our main healing crystal. Begin by carry placing citrine 2 to 3 inches above your belly button. Take your time, relax, and enter in a spiritual mood. When the mood is set, visualize a sunny day, where the rays of light warmly touches your skin. Envision its power entering you, giving you energy to move forward in life.
In this exercise, citrine is an excellent crystal to work with, given that its main spiritual function is to give courage to face life. As one may possibly lack in this aspect, healing the solar plexus with citrine can give that much-needed spark to be back in control. Whether you are lacking or overexerting your control, examining your solar plexus should be a good start. Heart Chakra Perhaps the most popular of the seven chakra systems, the Anahata or the Heart Chakra is considered as the center between the higher and the lower chakra points. This is because such is, of course, found on the center of the chest. Being the gateway of the lower and higher chakras, the heart chakra has two entry points, the front one being concerned with the functions of the heart while the back being more focused on one's lungs. But beyond its physical functions, the heart chakra is a popular one given that it is responsible for our capacity to love others. Whether it be romantic, filial, or societal love, it is the heart chakra that empowers us to connect and resonate with others. When we love someone, we have to be capable of sensitivity and the capacity to understand where they are coming from. But if our heart chakra is overactive, it will be difficult as we will simply end up in puzzles trying to be one with them. In the same way, if the heart chakra is blocked, we will also find it unknowingly difficult to connect with other people on a spiritual level, beyond the facades of everyday life. No matter how we do it, we will end up becoming annoying or insensitive, depending on which way our heart chakra was imbalanced. To remedy this problem, we need to recalibrate the heart chakra by meditating and tapping on the cosmic powers to rebalance such. To amplify this, we can seek the help of healing crystals, making the whole process more effective. Although the heart chakra is associated with a green-colored crystal, the pink ones generally works best for this area. As such, the most famous healing crystal for this chakra point is the Rose Quartz, for it is able to address issues concerning love in relationships. The Rose Quartz is known to increase one's empathy which is crucial in loving other people. If you are finding yourself in a situation where such is blocked, then Rose Quartz may be a perfect companion for this process. Alternatively, you can also use a green crystal especially when there is overactivity in this region. A green tourmaline, for instance, is able to regulate one's relationships, and also able to address discomfort felt in this region. Either which way, you can begin the ritual by placing your crystal on the center of your chest as you lie down and meditate. You can think of a gentle memory or a feeling of reconnection, representing the balancing of the heart chakra. Throat Chakra The fifth chakra point named Vishuddha, or commonly known as the Throat Chakra, is the one generally responsible for communication. As a chakra point, it is found at the center of one's throat, associated with organs such as pharyngeal and brachial plexi. Furthermore, it is also connected to one's mouth, tongue, etc. But more importantly, the spiritual function of this chakra point is on the expression and communication part. It is the gateway of our thoughts and words, with this chakra point managing the energies flowing through us. Being so, we usually express ourselves for who we think we are. Having an idea of ourselves, whether positive or negative, is something that we portray through self-image. The throat chakra is the one responsible for this portrayal, as we are communicating ourselves to the world. Such portrayal is not necessarily verbal as we may express ourselves in a multitude of ways. Being aloof, for instance, is a non-verbal expression of oneself, showing the possibility of a blocked throat chakra. While some people simply prefer not to engage with others, generally, aloofness can be caused by traumatic experiences in relating with others. Such problem can lead to further complications in the throat chakra, leading us to tell lies instead of truths. Being the verbal part, the throat chakra can also be problematic in its overactivity, as we try to reach out and connect with other people. This can be remedied with the help of healing crystals, as we can use its power to bring back the lost balance in the throat chakra. With the help of a blue crystal such as the lapis lazuli which represents truth, it will be easier for us to express ourselves. 
by restoring and reopening our throat chakra, we allow truth to go out, preventing us from overboasting or being too aloof. The lapis lazuli helps in the whole process by making sure that we are true to ourselves first before anything else. You can do this by lying down and taking a few minutes to prepare yourself. After which proceed by placing the lapis lazuli on your larynx. Begin by resting and focusing your energy on visualizing the flow of the truth, as if it were a stream of an undisturbed river. Third Eye Chakra The Third Eye Chakra is the sixth of the seven chakra system. As popularized in movies and television, this chakra point can be located just above the eyebrows, somewhere near the center of the forehead. The Ajna Chakra point is the center of foresight and intuition, the part of ourselves that visualizes the world. As such, this chakra point is responsible of how we perceive the world before us. Having the capability for consciousness, our individuality is able to perceive the outer world and interpret it from our own personal context. The way we see it, of course, is influenced by our experiences in life. This nature inevitably creates a dichotomization between the world and I, signaling how crucial the third eye chakra is for self-autonomy. Furthermore, being responsible of one's vision, this chakra point is capable of sensing pathways beyond the material world, and into the spiritual one. As the other five chakra points often concern the world we live in, the sixth chakra point is our direct passageway to higher forms of spirituality. As such, it is responsible for our capabilities of clairvoyance and intuition, something that we cannot explain with pure reason and senses alone. It also captures the greater vision of ourselves, or how we see the I in the universe we're living in. In this case, an imbalance in this chakra point often occurs when we are unable to see ourselves through the much of the world. When we're stuck in our own problems and situations, it signals a problem in our third eye chakra point. While the above example represents a blockage, an overactive third eye chakra point is represented when we are overly active in our fantasies and illusions. This makes it difficult for us to connect with the world, removing us from reality instead of bringing closer to it. This experience can easily be remedied using the help of crystal healing, allowing us to rebalance or open the closed pathways of energy. Particularly, amethyst being a purple crystal is one that can quickly provide relief for this problem. As a healing crystal, the amethyst is known for being able to bring inner peace and rebalancing one's spirituality. Other variations of this crystal are also known for bringing back willpower, something that can be lacked when we are confused. To perform this exercise, you can start by relaxing and preparing yourself. After which, proceed by placing a purple stone between the eyebrows and focus on your intuition. As you do so, try to envision clarity and inner peace. This will bring you back to the I, being able to see the world from your own perspective. Crown Chakra The last and highest of the seven chakra system, the Sahasrara, is commonly understood to be located on top of the head, like a crown worn and is facing upwards. This charka point is often associated with whiter clarity, and represents the higher self within us. As such, its main function is moderating our consciousness, the one that makes us human. With consciousness, we are able to transcend ourselves and our own tendencies, unlike the animals, plants, and inanimate objects in this world, this power allows man to be wise and spiritual, having the capability to become a higher self with a deeper understanding of the world. An imbalance in this chakra point would often be represented when we have too much of a cynical view on our spiritual self, failing to see a higher form of wisdom. For instance, when the way a person sees pain represents the kind of spiritual maturity that he, she has. Focusing on the feeling and the moment alone can represent a blocked crown chakra, where one is unable to see greater scheme of things that are at work. In the same way, being overly attached in spiritual activities to the point that one becomes negligent of the body is also a representation of an overly active crown chakra. When we forget the significance of the worldly self, we forget that it is part of our human existence, of who we are as persons. 
As such, these issues on the crown chakra can easily be addressed by a